this ABS system is throwing two faults, one for the pump motor and one for a missing multi-axis sensor. Today we're going to be diving into service info, pulling wiring diagrams, crawling underneath the van, removing a seat, and finding out why these codes are here. Let's get to it. With multi-axis acceleration sensor module. That's a history code, but it does say current DT DTC status. This ignition cycle, it has failed and the malfunction indicator light status is requested. So that's the reason for the light being on at this time. But we know that we have a bad unit because we got a pump motor circuit. So for sure the unit is failed. Now they just want to know about this code. They're concerned about that. The shop said that there's a broken wire and that the acceleration sensor is not getting power. Now, my uh, keypad here or touchpad is not working. So I highly recommend anyone doing using a laptop that you get touchscreen because the touchscreen is a lifesaver. My touchpad sometimes will act up and it doesn't want to work right. Uh, especially if I had the laptop on for too long, if I leave it on for too long, for whatever reason, the touchpad starts to act up. I have to shut it off and let it just kind of reset itself. And it, and it works just fine. So here's what we're going to do. Let's see here. Um, I'm just going to go to the diagrams first. Anti-lock brakes. Schematics. Ah, with JL4, without JL4, okay. Let's go back. Control V. VIN attributes, now what did it ask us for? I don't know now because I deleted the... Anti-lock brakes. JL4. Which I do believe this thing has JL4. Control F. JL4. We have JL4. Okay. Power and grounds. Now let's see here. <coughs> These are communication, four communications. Got two going in, two coming out. This is ignition, which is your terminal 15 key on power. Uh, we have basically two grounds. Um, perhaps that G300 is a problem. That's why we have a pump motor circuit. I don't know. We haven't lost comms with it, so I doubt that that's what's going on, but it's worth, it's worth, uh, it's food for thought. 50 amp, 40 amp, two fuses. Traction control switch. Instrument cluster. And we have body control module, and we also have engine control module, but it all works off of the network, the communication bus. Let's go back. Stability track, steering wheel position, inputs, and yaw and lateral accelerometer sensors, JL4. Okay, to start out with, we see a power up here. And that goes power in, ignition, to the steering wheel angle sensor. Multi-axis acceleration sensor. This is the complaint. Right, and it comes from the ABS module. There's two connectors in the way X318 and X185. This has it shows a data transfer, but it's some sort of a LIN bus. <coughs> Excuse me. Then we have our 12 volts in, and we have a ground. So it says lost communication. So I'm assuming that this is what's going on and it could be the 12 volts in that's the only 12 volts so we would have to verify we have good power now, i believe it said it's not getting power that's what the shop said 
So we'll probably have to find this multi-axis sensor. Let's see where it's at. Here's our connector for it. it looks like six pins. Yep, CAN bus. Two pins are CAN bus. Low reference and then voltage reference. One pin's not occupied. Maybe it's five pins. I don't know. I see six. Okay, yeah, there's six. Four and five are not occupied. Sorry. Four and five not occupied. Okay, simple enough. So you would check powers, grounds, and then comms going to it, and then you're done, right? Simple enough. Let's go to frame underbody components. What do we have here? Number four is a multi-axis acceleration sensor. Number three is the ABS uh, electronic brake control module. So we're looking for three and four. And wouldn't you know, they're both underneath the vehicle. The ABS module's on the driver's side, this being the front with the arrow pointing, front bumper, rear differential. And then we have number four, the multi-axis acceleration sensor is on the passenger side. So we're gonna be laying on the ground today unfortunately but uh that's what we got to do so primarily what i'm going to do is i'm going to go here first power does come from the abs module to the multi-axis accelerator what's going on here so we're going to check powers and grounds and communication going to that multi-axis acceleration sensor first Start there, if we don't have it there, then we're gonna check powers and grounds with the ABS module, make sure it has everything it needs. If it has everything it needs, we'll check the wires going out to the multi-axis acceleration sensor. Let me go to the diagram. <clears throat> All right, to keep this simple. What we're gonna do is I'm gonna to go to the multi-axis acceleration sensor. I am going to probably unplug this X318 and I'm gonna check for power and ground, 12 volts and ground, and then I'm gonna check for communication going to it, here. If we have everything we need here, this multi-axis acceleration center is gonna be bad. If we're missing anything, then we're gonna to go to the ABS module. Like let's say we're missing 12 volts, then we're gonna check that the ABS module has all of its powers and grounds. After that, you know, this depends on what all it's missing. So it could be comms, whatever, but there's a connector here in the center, X185. That could be a problem. I don't know. Let's see what we find. Let's go to the truck. All right. And I see our ABS module. Uh, I don't see anything here. I guess, uh, what's going on here? That's the AVS module. <sighs> now I see heater stuff. There's nothing there. Let's go look at service info again. All right, well this makes a lot more sense. Multi-axis acceleration sensor, B119. Frame and underbody components, it does show you that, but that's incorrect. In the passenger compartment on the front center of the floorboard between the front seats. Okay. Let's go there. So I take it we are underneath this carpet. This must be what's going on. Ugh, disgusting. Oh yeah, this was a dirty van at one point in time. They did a great job of cleaning it. But it was a dirty, dirty van. So let's get this pulled up. Passenger seats removed. Dog house is out. Pulled the carpet up. Let me tell you something. It's still wet here. Can you guys, let's see if I can see. I think you can see the reflection. There's a little bit of water here. I don't know if this thing actually does have a leak. It smells moldy. So this van was nasty at one point in time. I mean, just absolutely disgusting. It stinks. Um, I'm going to uh, pull this cover. I believe that's where, what we're dealing with right there. 
I'm gonna pull the cover, check for the powers and grounds and columns like we said. And hopefully we can be done with this real soon. I wanna get out of here. All right, now whenever we're doing this, we're gonna check it unplugged. Why? Because I wanna make sure I have comms going to it. I don't really care if it's communicating out at this point. I just wanna know if the ABS module can talk to it. So, that's what we're going for. And if we look here, there's no talking. Sorry guys, this thing's disgusting. I don't wanna put my tools on here. I gotta give them a good wipe down when I'm done. Uh, there's no talking there, essentially. This is difficult, single-handed. I need to get a stand for my camera. I have one. Just need to get it out. So here we are. Oh, it's on auto, that's the problem. Five volts. Yeah, there's no talking coming to this. Let's check it for powers and grounds. Power and ground now. Uh, that's the black and the gray. That would be this pin. Oh, it's tiny, huh? Uh, yeah, I got, I got tiny ones. Okay, good. I was going to say, I think I broke all of my tiny ones. All right, all right. One here. One here. We have power and ground. Confirmed. We just have... No communication coming to this sensor. I don't think that there's anything wrong with this, to be honest with you. Uh, let's check it plugged in. Let's turn the key off. Plug that in. Any offensive weapons? And no, we have the exact same thing. There's no communication on that circuit. Now with all the pressures on Putin. Very strange. Turn that off. Got to get this red clip out. Easy enough. Lift this up. Now this is one of these latch connectors. You got to wiggle these things a lot back and forth. And let it work its way off. You know, might pull it up a little bit. And again, wiggle it. They get seized, you know, they get a lot of corrosion and dirt in there and then they don't want to release and uh, you'll break the the lever. It happens all the time. I come over and so many of these things that are like this are just smashed and broken. Okay, that looks good. That looks fine. Um, what we got to do now is break this zip tie and then we're going to get the wiring schematic. Now let me get the diagrams. My gloves are all torn and soaking wet. Pulling that seat out was a nightmare. It is here. 19. Well, we know 19 and 30 are good because we have our power and ground. So what we're concerned about is 21 and 33. And also, aside from 21 and 33, we need the ABS modules, powers and grounds. We need with JL4. Okay, so we know we got, like I said, two powers and two grounds, primarily. And then we're gonna do The connector view. We should probably do our powers and grounds to the ABS module first. Let's do powers and grounds first because we have it unplugged. So that's what we're going to do. Powers and grounds. So we got pin 38, 13, 1, and 25. 38, 13, 
1 and 25. It's all on the end. So 38 and 13 are both powers, correct? Yes, 38 and 13 are both powers. So this will be simple enough to do. All right, since we have heavy load, we're going to use a headlight bulb. So we can see that we got good power and ground on this circuit and good power and ground on this circuit. So we're good, we're golden for power and ground going into the ABS module. Now what we're gonna to wanna to do is we're gonna check communication coming out. And that's gonna be 21 and 33. So 21 and 33 are going to be over here uh let's see okay we've got our white and black wire right here let's go ahead and get pierced into that Woo! what a pain this is all right that's pin 21, white and black. Okay, sorry for all the background noise right now, everybody. It's just, there's a train right there. It's extremely loud and very annoying. That's what we gotta deal with though. Welcome to the mobile life. All right, let's plug this thing back in. We're set up on our brown and white and our white and black. I do believe that this is the way this thing goes on here. Snug it on. Run it down. Okay. Kind of hard to see, but what we got is uh, no communication coming out. I think that's very odd. I would assume we'd want to see some sort of communication on there, but there's nothing happening at all. Now the ABS module is outputting a bias voltage. Here's the thing. We have a faulty ABS module, 100% for sure. But I do think that the multi-axis acceleration sensor is probably faulty as well. Why? Because it's not doing any talking plugged in. There's no comms. So I'm going to recommend both. That's the call. If I'm wrong, I'll let you guys know. At this point, we've confirmed solid power and ground to both devices. And there's a two and a half volt bias on the data lines between them. No communication between the ABS unit and the acceleration sensor. Parts have been ordered and I'll follow up with the programming process once they're installed. Stay tuned. This is Keon Engine Off. Subscribe for more diagnostics and programming.